Shalom, Kahalai Mla Yahawa, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakab Kadash, which in the true Hebrew language mean all praises to the Most High. His true name is Yahweh. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the correct name of who the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus. Rakab Kadash, loosely translated, means Holy Spirit. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. Now, I'm going to play a portion of this video from Fox News entitled Exclusive. Black Hebrew Israelite member speaks out after Covington Catholic confrontation. Towards, uh, I'll play it at the 8 minute and 4 second mark. Um, the newscaster is going to say something to the effect of, do the, uh, the descendants pay for the crimes of the ancestors, so to speak. All right, because... The so-called white man put the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in slavery, all right, throughout history, hundreds of years ago. That's how they got the land of America. And uh, they continued throughout as time passed on to commit atrocities against our people. Now, you'll have uh, so-called white people today, which the Bible identifies as Edomites. They'll say, well, that wasn't me. That was my, uh, my father's, all right? There's, a, there's something you got to understand when it comes to truth, fact, knowledge, and the scriptures. That reincarnation is uh, in the Bible, all right? And uh, reincarnation is a fact of life, all right? And also, you must understand that the Most High is fair, all right? Yahweh, all right? By Hashem Yahweh in the name of His Son, all right? That would not be fair for those uh those people to put our my ancestors that would not be fair for the so-called white ancestors to put the so-called negro latino native americans ancestors and just die in peace all right to, they, they just get to get away from that because you must understand those were uh so-called christians all right christopher columbus came and, and and colonized america in the name of christianity all right, George Washington and uh, Thomas Jefferson and Andrew Jackson and and uh, 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 Theodore uh, Theodore Roosevelt and you know the list goes on. Okay, so they don't get to get away with murder and then they get to die and, and be buried and face no consequence. All right, because hell is hell does not coincide with the Bible when the scripture speaks about uh, fire. And burning with fire, okay? That's because uh, uh, World War Three is prophesied in the Bible, uh, nuclear nuclear missile fire, and the Lord is coming back with fire. All right, He said He's coming back fire and His chariots like a whirlwind. So before we break off into this lesson, we're gonna get some scriptures that prove reincarnation. All right, so. I'll start off with the uh, first one that came to mind was uh, Revelation 1 and 7. I believe it's 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who is that he? Yahweh Shai. All right, and those clouds represent chariots. It says, And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. All right, that doesn't mean that th those Roman soldiers who pierced him when he was on the cross going to live and, and, and they're going to be 2,050 years old or something to that effect when, when, when Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, come back. No, they're going to die and through process of time, all right, through regeneration, reincarnation, they will come back, all right? So I'll read that over, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, Amon. Okay, let me get uh, another scripture. All right, this is, uh, this is Matthew 19, 28. And Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Regeneration is another word for reincarnation. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Let's look up generate regeneration. I got it on um, the definition here. Okay, one second. 
Regeneration. The action or process of regenerating or being regenerated. All right, in particular, the formation of new animal or plant tissue. Let me see what else they got here. In the, this is the origin in the Latin, regenerate, to create again. All right, so your spirit, all right, comes back into another body. Okay, another, another, uh, another, another body. All right, because your spirit is eternal. When uh, Ecclesiastes, I'll get this here and then we'll move on. Uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and seven says what? Then shall the dust return to the earth. What is the dust? Your body, as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So when you die, your, your, your body decays, it becomes one with the earth, and your spirit goes back to the most high. That's who gave you your spirit. Okay? Now, let's further prove uh, reincarnation, all right? This is the book of uh, John. And I see that this is turning into a, a reincarnation video as well because you have to prove uh, this reincarnation point to prove the punishment that the so-called white race will pay for the um, for the crimes of their ancestors. This is John 9 and 1. And as Jesus is supposed to be Yahweh all right, there's no J's in Hebrew. And as Yahweh passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Now, how could the man sin when he was born blind? All right. So this lets you know at the time that the Lord walked the earth that the concept of reincarnation had to have been common knowledge. All right. They asked who sinned, this man or his parents. How could he have sinned when he was he was born by blind? Meaning what? He had to he sinned in a in a past life, all right, in a previous life, and he got punished for it in this life. All right. Now this is a. Uh, but when you further read on in that um in that instance, uh uh Yahweh Shah said it, it he was um he was born like that so the the power of the most high can be manifested, roughly paraphrasing. Now this is Exodus twenty and five. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So the father may, uh, like, let's say you do something, you sin, but you die and you don't get punished. Around about the third or fourth generation, your spirit gets regenerated, comes back. Your spirit comes back in the flesh, and you may or may not be born blind. You may or may not be born deaf. You may or may not be born lame or retarded. So that is what we see when we see these people who are deaf, dumb, blind, or retarded, or have or, or cerebral palsy, or some type of deformity, that's, their, that's them um, experiencing their punishment in, in this life because they didn't get punished in the past life. All right? This is uh, Psalm 1. Let me get this scripture. Oh... Uh, way right just uh, yeah I don't want to spell mm. uh, Psalm 140 Psalm 145 and 17 Yahweh is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works right all right you can't just you you can't just get away with murder all right you done did something wrong and you just get to die peacefully no all right, that would that would be unfair. And the Lord is righteous, uh, Tazadak, just, lawful, righteous, just, right. All right, correct. All right. So we'll further. Let's get a couple more. All right, Jeremiah's. This is Matthew sixteen fourteen, and they said, "Some say thou art John the Baptist." Some Elias and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. This talking about Yahweh Shai, whom the world calls Jesus. Why would they say he Jeremiah? Jeremiah already lived before. 
All right. Why would they um, say he Elias? Elias existed around the time of kings. Let's look at Elias. Elijah. All right. It says a prophet born at Thisbe, the unflinching champion of the theocracy and the reigns of the idolatrous kings Ahab and Ahaziah. That's around the time of kings. He was taken up to heaven without dying, which the Jews expected he would return just before the advent of the Messiah, whom he would prepare the minds of the Israelites to receive. So it was prophesied that Elijah would come. OK. Further, further reincarnation okay this is Malachi 4 and 5 behold I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh so Elijah uh, he existed and then he got taken up into heaven all right and then through process of, process of time his spirit was regenerated back into the flesh all right and over the period of time with, with that happening he came before the great and dreadful day of the Lord and if you further read the scriptures in the New Testament, it says that uh, John the Baptist was Elijah. All right. The spirit, the spirit that was in Elijah was the same spirit that was in John the Baptist. OK, now let's go into this video. Uh, I mean, do you think that the, uh, you know, the son should pay for the sins of the father? Uh, yes. Okay, so if, if my father, you know, shot someone, I should pay the price? If he's still in a crime family, yes. Now, see, now you need to understand it. Now, no. Because if you're in an instance like that, then what does the scripture say? All right. See, the Lord is fair. All right. Remember that. This is Ezekiel 18 and 20. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteous of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. So in that, in that, in that instance, in that scenario, then no. All right, you, you got a father and a son, and the father kills someone. Well, and the father get the death penalty. Well, the son don't get the death penalty. All right. Because that's this this scripture would apply. That would be unfair. Okay. What about someone's great 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 grandfather shot an Indian who shot at him with a bow and arrow? You think they should pay the price? The uh, great 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 grandson. If that now you talking now now he talking because that's when the that's when the process of reincarnation would kick in. All right, because through through process of time. The same spirit that was that was in your great great ancestor is is somewhere down the line. It's, it's it could be either you, it could be one of your relatives, one of your distant cousins. That spirit gonna get get regenerated. All right. So uh, we read the Exodus twenty five. The Lord visit the iniquity upon the third and fourth generation. All right. So within three or four generations, you know you got your you got your great you got your great. And then you got your your grand, then you got your father, then you got you. It's very likely that that spirit would have been regenerated by then. All right, through through the process of through the process of time. Now that now that's when this kicks in, okay? Because the concept of reincarnation it negates that 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 notion of I don't all oh, no well that was that was my ancestors. No, you are your ancestors. All right. Now, if it's your father, then no, nah, you know, no, nah, we just read these Ezekiel 18, 20, 18 and 20. But in that and but in that scenario, what about my great, 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 great? Well, Isaiah 14 and 21 says what? Prepare slaughter for his children. All right. Why? For the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. The iniquity of the fathers. So the iniquity of your ancestors. Let, let's look up fathers. Father of an individual, of God as father of his people, head or founder of a household, group, family, or clan. Ancestor. Okay? Ancestor. Prepare slaughter for his iniquity for the... Wait. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their ancestors. All right? 
because through process of time, through reincarnation, you are your ancestors. Okay. So let's play some more videos. All right. Let me see what else I got here. I want to show. Mm, look at this here. So you can tell me, no one, no one that got to get punished for this. The Lord is just in touch. No one got to pay for this. No one pays for this here. We just sweep this in the world. Regardless of what Western society teach you, let bygones be bygones. The Lord never let bygones be bygones. All right? You should get what he did to the Egyptians, what he did to the Babylonians, what he did to the Assyrians. We got all this history of judgment, what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? We got all this, we got the Bible is a history book of, of righteous judgment. But then when it comes to the so called white man uh, and, and everything he did, and still doing, it ain't like he stopped. It ain't like once slavery ended, everything was just fucking peachy. You got, look at what was all happening through segregation. All right? Look what he do, look what he do with his laws. Redlining. All right? He, uh, 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 uh. He done, the CIA done funded, uh, putting goddamn it, uh, drugs in, in Negro community. And then lock, locking them up, and locking them up to, in jail. All right, you get more crime for selling drugs than you do for killing people. But then now you got all these, these so-called white people selling drugs and they were selling drugs. Now it's an epidemic. Oh, they need help. Oh, we can't, we can't put them in jail. We gotta, we, we, we gotta uh, reform them. They need classes. skin as the people that you persecuted. But you're going to have to. Like it or not. So to those of you that say it wasn't me, it was you. Because the sins of your forefathers, your family, that raped the female slaves, wives, mothers, daughters, ripped nursing infants away from their mothers so they could sell them as slaves. It's not going to go unpunished. 